Hi, well, the uh, news has just come in that the Talk Talk network has been uh, hacked. It's a apparently had a sustained and significant attack. According to the chief executive, nearly 4 million uh, user accounts or up to 4 million user accounts may have been compromised. Um, the information on it is really that uh, it's personal data is the main issue. I mean, obviously, we have... Uh, usernames and passwords is one thing, but people's home details, bank account details, and even possibly credit card details may have been compromised. So I just thought I'd make this quick video uh, as a way of uh, explaining what you should be doing about this. If you're if you're a Talk Talk user, and I'm not a Talk Talk user because my company does internet service provision. Um, but if you are a Talk Talk user, or, or anyone who's worried about their personal identity online, uh, really the first uh, thing to do is to make sure that you uh, enable two-factor authentication on as many of your online accounts as you possibly can. So two-stage authentication or two-factor authentication just means that, uh, as well as a username and password, if, for example, if we take Twitter as an example, um, when I log into our Twitter account, I use a username and password and then I'm sent a text message to my phone that basically says, here's a six digit number, you need to enter that before, before you, can, uh, you can get in. And whilst that's not 100% bulletproof either, it's, uh, it, someone would have to specifically target me uh, and know my personal uh, details in order to, to breach that. Um, but better than that, uh, we also use different passwords on every single one of our accounts and, and, I, and I use different passwords on every single one of my accounts and I don't write any of them down. Uh, I did make a short video on how to do that with, with, with videos, uh, with, with, sorry, with passwords. So uh, feel free to watch that. I'll put a link to that on this video. Um, using different passwords will slow someone down. Uh, if if I were a talk talk customer, um, I think the first thing I would do is firstly change my password on TalkTalk. Talk. Then I would inform my bank um, that I'm a TalkTalk Talk customer so that they keep a closer eye on my account and that it would be the account that's used for direct debits to TalkTalk, Talk, assuming that's how you pay. Um, if you use a credit card to pay for your TalkTalk, Talk, then uh, obviously inform the credit card company instead. Um, I would be very vigilant about receiving any emails or phone calls from TalkTalk Talk because unfortunately there will be an army of fraudsters that will seize this and see this as an opportunity to uh, pretend to be TalkTalk Talk and try and get your personal data when they're not the ones that have actually compromised TalkTalk. Talk. So just, just remember this, that Banks and service providers will never ever ask you for your password. Why not? Because they can just reset it themselves. They will never need to know that information. So if anyone from a bank or a service provider, such as TalkTalk, Talk, ever asks you for your uh, password for your account, just hang up the phone because they're, it's not them, it's a fraudster. Um, the biggest problem that you have is with the actual identity theft, i.e. people um, stealing your identity, arranging for uh, birth certificates, passports, and driver licenses in your name. So just be vigilant over the next few, three, four, five months, just to see if, if you, if any, any, you, you will know when you, if you get uh, attacked, if you get singled out. Um, but yeah, my advice to you is to watch the video that I did on remembering lots of different passwords, change your password immediately, inform your bank or institution, and wherever possible, set up two-factor authentication or two-stage authentication. Uh, I will be making a video on how to do that, but it's different for every service provider, so I'd need to do one for Twitter, one for LinkedIn, one for Facebook, one for Google. Uh, I can do that, we probably will do that, especially based on this uh, latest uh, incident. Um, if you are affected, uh, I'm sorry that you were affected, but, but take this advice. Talk Talk have been attacked. They certainly won't be the last ones to be attacked. There will be others. The best way you can protect yourself is to be proactive about protecting your own identity online 
and not relying on these companies to look after your data for you. Yes, they have an obligation. I'm not saying they don't. But there are literally hundreds of thousands of attacks per month on companies. So they're doing an awful lot to try and protect everyone's data. Um, but the best thing you can do is look after yourself. So for now, that's, that's all I've got time for. Um, it's very late, so I'm going to bed. So hopefully you found this useful. Thank you.